Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Assimilate Inc. and I'm back again with the next lesson in our Learn Scratch tutorial series. And in this lesson, we're talking notes. What are they? How do we get in and add them? And how do we get in and change their default settings if we want to? So in this lesson, we're going to cover all that, plus where you're going to be able to find them in the metadata information, as well as having to deal with multiple notes attached to the same clip. All right, so as you can see, we are already in Scratch. Now I want to draw your attention to the clip that's in slot zero. It already has a note applied to it. What I like to tell people is I like to think of these more like sticky notes. You're just going to write some information on a sticky note, slap it onto this, well, I say this shot, but this version of the shot that happens to be sitting in this slot so that we can get more information that we might need. For example, shot is out of sync. There's a color issue with the shot. Maybe the boom drops down into the shot at some point. This is important information that you or another artist sitting in front of the scratch machine is going to need to know. Let's talk about default settings for notes first. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this project and I'm going to come into our system settings. Now I am on the general settings right now. So let's head on over here to notes. And you'll notice that we have eight different default notes for us to start working with. Now I say start working with because as always, much like with pretty much everything inside of Scratch, this is really only the default to get you going in the right direction. Once you have it on there, you can make whatever changes you might want to make. Now I want to draw your attention to the bottom of the window right here where it says default notes are linked to the shift plus F1 through F8 function keys, meaning and if I hit Shift F1, it's going to, by default, add a note that says attention, and that note will be yellow. You'll see there's our F1 through F8. Now, as you get working, you're going to want to get in and change these because you're going to start to notice common problems in, let's say it's a, a specific production you're working on, and, you know, let's say there's always issues with, you know, the lazy boom guy. Now, granted, there's boom in shot here, but maybe you want that to be purple. So we can easily come in, we can switch this over to be purple like such, and now that F6, Shift F6, by default, will always be boom and shot. Now you could have it be, you know, lazy audio person, boom and shot, and then once we click anywhere else, that default note will be updated so that this will be added every time we add that note. Now, I'm just going to remove that lazy audio person there and just keep it as boom in shot. And once we've gone in and added or adjusted any of these to be whatever we want them to be, I'm simply going to say, OK, I'm going to come back into my project. And we are now back to where we started with this note that has been applied to my shot. Now, let's just deal with shot number two here in slot number one. And I'm just going to select it and let's add a note. Now, again, a couple ways that we can do this. I'll use shift and one as the shortcut to add a yellow note that says attention to this shot. Now I'm just going to undo what I just did to remove it because there's another way that we can go about doing this. Right down here towards the bottom of the construct module, it says shot notes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in hello. Much like I had done with the first note. I'm going to set this color to be, let's set it to be green just so that it stands out like a sore thumb. And I'm simply going to say add. You'll see that the new note has been added that simply says hello. And this could, of course, really say anything that we want it to say. Now, believe it or not, there's two more ways that we can add notes to shots. If we don't want to get in and be selecting shots, what we can do is simply mouse over one of the shots, hit N on the keyboard to quickly add a note to that shot. Or you can click on the upper right hand corner where you see that little page curl and that gives you the ability to add a note as well. Now, if we wanted to get in and remove one of these notes, no problem. We can simply select the shot we're working on and say clear. However, when we say clear, you'll notice that the note doesn't disappear. Well, this is where getting in and working with multiple notes comes into play, because if I'd really like to clear this sort of, I guess it's a cyan note out of the slot, what I'm going to do is switch the color over to cyan, say clear, and that note will now be removed. So keep that in mind. Anytime you want to remove a note, you're going to need to tell Scratch what color note you want to remove and you can easily pull it out. Now I've gotten in and I've added this note that says hello. But of course, the big question is, how do I now actually get in and change this? So for example, 
this shot has sync issues, okay? And for some reason, I cannot get the audio to line up. So I just wanna make sure I make a note for myself and anybody else sitting at the system so they can see this right away. What I'm gonna do is with that shot selected, I'm simply going to say edit. And once I say edit, you'll see the note window appears that of course looks just like a little sticky note. I'm just gonna type in, I'm having sync issues with this shot, need to check it out later. All right, and once I do that, I can click anywhere else and you'll now see that that note has been updated. Now there is another place that we can get access to this note. With this clip selected in, in slot one, I'm gonna come over here to our metadata information and you'll notice right up here at the top, we have the note that is attached to the shot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come right down here and I'm gonna click on notes and you'll now see that much like we had done before with edit, we can now get in and edit the note here as well. Now I've got a bit of a problem with this shot because there's actually a couple issues going on here, okay? One is that we have a sync issue. The other is that there's a boom in this shot as well. Now, one thing that you don't wanna start doing is adding different pieces of information or different note information into the same note. Like you don't wanna be putting hyphens or anything like that to start having basically a laundry list of what all the problems are with this shot. This is where working with multiple notes comes into play. So let me show you what I mean by that. So right now we have a green note on this shot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a red note because Actually, let's do that shift and F5 because I believe that was for the boom mic falling into the shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift F5 and you'll notice and it's actually red, but you'll see that we now have that green note that was attached to this shot has actually been broken in two. We now have one note that's going to be for our having sync issues with this shot, need to check it out later. And we also have another issue here that we're gonna come in, I'm gonna edit. Let's come over here to note two. It's not going to be a hot pixel. This is actually going to be boom hanging in shot. All right. And we can actually get in now and we can start adding multiple notes. Let's just go shift uh, F7. We'll go shift F8, shift F9. I don't think there's anything actually on F9. Let's just jump back to F5, F2, F1. And you'll see we now have all of these different notes that are attached to this shot. But one thing I wanna point out is how visual this information actually is. You can take one quick look and know exactly how many notes are attached to this shot at any given time. I'm gonna say that there's roughly eight there, seven or eight there. Uh, to be honest, if you've got seven or eight issues going on with the shot, you've got a lot of problems there. But again, this is a great way to easily get in and see how many notes are associated with this shot. And at any point, if you realize that as you're going through and you're starting to remove issues as you take care of them, we can remove notes as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this note. You'll see that we can simply click through like such to see all the different notes. And at any point, what we also have the ability to do is we can actually take it and move it over here if we'd like. But what I was gonna get at here is what we have the ability to do is that once we come over here to note number seven, we can now start removing notes, right? I can even come to note five and say, well, you know what, I don't need that note anymore. And we can just start removing notes as we need to. So this is a great and simple way to get in, get yourself, or again, another artist, more information about these shots very quickly and very easily utilizing notes in the construct module. All right, I wanna thank you for watching this great lesson on learning Assimilate Scratch. Now, don't forget to check us out on our different social channels, and if you missed our last lesson, you can simply click on it right here on the screen in front of you. Don't forget as well to hit that subscribe button, and if you have any questions, you can always send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com.